general public is recommended to refrain from other social activities and to keep a distance of at least one meter from other people. In addition, everyone should abide by the WHO recommendations by refraining from unnecessary trips to crowded places. If people strictly implement self-protection, it can reduce the disease transmission. For those who have previously been to areas with reported illnesses, such as boxing stadiums, entertainment spots, cockfighting stadiums and theatres, they need to strictly self-quarantine themselves at home for at least 14 days, not stay close to other people and self-monitor their symptoms. Please follow the news from the Ministry of Public Health. If there are any questions, you can ask at the Department of Disease Control hotline 1422, 24 hours around the clock, or website ddc.moph.go.ph. pillar of the government's work, combating corruption and elevating the judicial system in Thailand is an ongoing endeavor of the administration. Towards ending malfeasance, the government is spreading awareness and prompting active resistance to corruption while making sure to swiftly and righteously handle cases of graft threatening the nation. Thailand, stability, prosperity, and sustainability. as it deals directly with instigators of violence. The Southern Border Province's Administrative Center, SBPAC, regularly earns over funding and assistance to victims of the Southern Border Province's situation for their rehabilitation. Rehabilitation funds are provided by the SBPAC to eligible citizens of the South through their distinct police and local administrative offices. People that qualify for the aid include those who have received physical injury as a direct result of a violent incident instigated by insurgents whose family breadwinners were made incapable by such violence or who have had their livelihoods stunted by such violence. In many cases, assistance is provided to all members of a household with sizable totals ensuring their ability to fully rehabilitate. The funds are personally handed over by local officials to ensure their proper delivery, with the officials also taking time to assess the condition of the recipients and connecting with them. The process goes beyond providing financial support, but in assuring those affected that they are emotionally supported by the state and can access help as needed. Handovers are regularly posted to the SBPAC site to encourage others to reach out as part of the government's ongoing effort to build confidence within the Southern public. Those eligible for aid can identify themselves to officials either via their local administrative office or online using an electronic form available at the SBPAC website. The center also seeks out eligible individuals following each violent incident and has given out funds to people in every province along the southern border, encompassing Patani, Yala, and Ratiwa. The long-standing program has been important in the government's peace effort for the South, especially as part of its approach of reaching out to the hearts and minds of Southern residents. While working to counteract and stop violence, as well as the damage caused by such violence, the government is also ready to continue rehabilitating those affected by such incidents.
as part of its genuine aspiration to see peace and harmony realized in the South. Stop COVID-19. Early detection saves lives. If you have any symptoms of COVID-19, such as fever, coughing, or difficulty breathing, seek medical attention for your and those around you. If you only feel unwell, stay at home and avoid other people. Listen to trustworthy medical advice from government sources or the World Health Organization to help lighten the burden on heart health and medical workers. You can help stop the spread of COVID-19. Through initiatives for the people, the heart, we love doing good. His Majesty, King Mahawachira Longkorn, Prawachira Klao Chao Yuhua, put into practice the message he delivered upon ascending the throne that he would better the lives of his people and allow them to better one another. Fostering compassion, His Majesty the King is the heart of the kingdom. Thailand Magazine. Traveling can be exhausting. The weight of one's backpack gets the cold. And sometimes even sleep isn't enough to take the edge off. Fret not, weary traveler. Thailand is home to some of the best massage parlors in the world. Traditional Thai massages are hands down one of the best things to look forward to when traveling through the land of smiles. They're affordable, incredibly relaxing, and an experience you don't want to miss. For most Thai massages, you'll be provided with loose-fitting clothing before being led to a changing room or bathroom. Thai massages focus on circulation and pressure points, promoting internal health and muscular flexibility. Treatment often begins with the feet and gradually moves up towards the head. A Thai massage may feel exciting, but once it's over, you'll clearly understand its effectiveness as your whole body feels a refreshing rush of energy. Once the session is over, you'll definitely be looking forward to your next traditional Thai massage. News broadcast from the Public Relations Department of the Royal Thai Government at AM 918, FM 80, FM 95.5 and FM 107. For advertising inquiries, please email us at radiothailand at outlook.com. Bonus aren't exactly a superfood, but it turns out they may be capable of providing your brain with what it needs to effectively start the day. While a donut isn't the healthiest morning breakfast, sometimes it's what your brain actually needs. If you're having trouble concentrating or remembering things in the morning, it's often because your brain is missing the sugar it needs to function normally. According to Dr. Gary L. Wank from Ohio State University, the type of sugar found in donuts is used as an energy source and produces a neurotransmitter, which is important to affect memory and your mood. Therefore, a tasty donut first thing in the morning is likely to provide your brain with everything it needs to pay attention and learn new things. While a daily donut may not be your healthiest option, you may want to consider adding a bit of baked goods containing some sugar to your daily morning diet to keep yourself ready for a busy day ahead. And that's it for Radio Thailand's News Hour. Be sure to catch Radio Thailand's early news for updates. Thank you for listening. I'm doing back to Salon. Sweaty car. We talked it. Sweaty crap.
listen to by our program in English for listeners in Asia and the Pacific, the Middle East and Africa, Europe and America. in Bandung, Gudon, Pani, Northeastern Thailand. The listeners in Asia and the Pacific, the Middle East and Africa, Europe and America. It is now time for our broadcast in German. I'm Jenny Dutenhaven, I'm Stephanie Langhoff. We have listed some mentioned version programs on Radio Thailand. 